I mentioned at the end of the last video that one of the awkward things to do is to have to type the words into this array here and that it might be nice to have some sort of CSV file, text file, where we can pull the words from. And then we can update that as we progress. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So the first thing I want to do is to create a new file. I'm going to call this file words.txt. I'm just going to paste a series of words in here. So these are the words. I'm going to pull one of these at random. Go back to my index.php. Now this words array, well, we don't want that anymore, but I'll leave it in. I'll just comment it out there. What I actually want is for the words to come from that text file. And the way I do that, I just say that we want to go to the file. And then which file do we want to go to? Well, I want to go to the words, if I can spell it correctly, the words.txt file. Now what that's going to do is just going to open that words.txt file. And then I want to grab a word at random from that words text file. So I can actually leave this in here. I'll then echo out the word and then I'll echo out the underscores. Now what I'm going to do, I'm also going to echo out this word length just to show you what actually happens. After the word, I will echo out a break. So echo out a break here. And I'll also do the same thing after the word length. So what I should have is the word, the word length, and then the underscores. And you'll see what's going to happen. So I'm going to go back to my browser. I'm going to refresh. Strawberry should have 11. And when I count these, I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. But if you look at the word strawberry, strawberry only has 10 letters in it. If I just do that again with a refresh, Potato has six letters. It said seven and done seven underscores. Now, why is that happening? Well, if we go back to the Visual Studio Code and have a look at the words, after each word, there is a line return. So it's recognizing that as an extra character. So I want to trim that off the end of the right side of the word. So what I have to do here with this word, it's selecting the word from the list, but it's adding one extra character that I need to trim off. And the way I do that is I'll just wrap this in brackets, go to the beginning and I say, I want to trim off the right hand side. So that's a right trim, an R trim. Now if I go back and I refresh, we've got cabbage. It does have seven letters, seven letters, and we've got seven underscores. I'll refresh again. Orange has six, six and six. So now that is working correctly. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.